crazy, my gosh. Do you know what's crazy? Do you know what's crazy? This, this whole thing is crazy. I found my twin, I'm kidding. My face, my ugly ass and mad face. And you know, she's a little triggered today. I don't know what was going on that day, but she's a little triggered and what I'm about to murder someone here. I'm kidding. But my face and a bit of description about me as a 2020 graduate from BCIT and the Radio Arts and Entertainment Program made it on the province, on the cover page of the province newspaper. And if you don't know what the province newspaper is, it's a tabloid newspaper of one of Canada's largest print company. It's the newspaper that a lot of British Columbians and of course Vancouverites, or maybe let's just say Vancouver people, I don't know if they want to call be called Vancouverites, consume on a, not a daily basis, but on a lot of days a week basis. And I made it on a Sunday newspaper. Do you know what? special thing about the Sunday newspaper is it's a dollar more <laughs> than the regular days a week newspaper so it's, it's pretty it's a pretty cool experience it's no worse to explain how I feel but crazy and it's just my grandkids are gonna be so proud of Grammy my children already making you proud of my 20 years of life <laughs> crazy now you may be wondering how I ended up getting featured in an article this big and might I just tell you I actually wasn't expecting that this article is gonna make it to the cover page of the province but I know that the art article is at, is going to be produced um, I just didn't expect it to my photo to be this huge but anyway so how I got his opportunity is because my friend Steven shared a tweet from the Vancouver Sun and the Vancouver Sun is a sister company of the province and they're basically looking for students who are willing to share their stories um, who are willing to uh, give their insights if they have been affected by the pandemic um, in an employment uh, standards or maybe educational standards and I thought I thought I had a, I had a story to share you know because well, um, our practicum was canceled and I am apparently graduated. And so I also have a, a job lined up um, that is ready for me to start even before graduation, but that now is suspended. And what did I do despite all this? I kept the momentum by content creating. So I, I thought I had a story to share. So I did share only the school situation part until I had a conversation with the photojournalist um, later in the day. And that that's when they learned that um, I did some YouTubing on the side as well. Um, so I did the interview the, the day after I submitted an email to this journalist. And then just moments after that interview, they sent um, a photojournalist to take pictures of me. And I, he's so nice and he's so inspirational. He was an educator and he was just sharing his experience uh, to me uh, growing in the media industry. and. So nice. So anyway, the interview part is done and also the photo taking is done. And then two weeks later, I received another message from Steven and he was notifying me that the article from the Vancouver Sun is already released. So I looked, I looked at it. My photo was a thumbnail per se, if you would convert it in YouTube lingo. And then um, just on Sunday, two days after the Vancouver Sun released the article, my, my co-worker sent a photo of this newspaper with my face on it and man, how do you react to that? Kill myself kidding. I was, well, I was, I was speechless. I didn't know how to react to that for sure. But anyway, I finally got my copy and I looked at it and I'm like, oh my God, I look so mad. Like I look like I'm about to murder everybody who ceased to, um, to hire me for a job. I'm kidding. I'm never going to do that. But anyway, look, look at this though. Look at that little hand gun, man. Jordan, my friend said, I may have played too much GTA. <laughs> well, I tried to be serious. I did absolutely achieve that. It's just in a funny way, serious. And what's more amazing is the fact that 
me doing YouTube videos was mentioned in the article and me being a student of broadcasting of media is mentioned in the article. And I know the heck, I mean, who reads newspaper these days but adults, right? And, you know, young adults are my target audience, but still, adults are employers. And I actually did get two freelance job offers just because of this article being released to the public. And they're both media related, digital media related jobs. And right now, I'm thinking which one to accept, but I've, I think I am certain to accept one of them they're really connected to me but just the just this opportunity man it's unexpected and i am very happy to have experienced this absolutely now that is why i say that having feet get featured on an article and being on a cover page of an article specifically this week felt like a calling to me and you know, obviously, I am nobody, right? This article is definitely not even mine. I mean, about me. It's about uh, the, the fact that graduates, recent graduates are experiencing and are facing uncertainty in terms of unemployment these days. But despite that though, it, to me, it felt like I represented many grads um, who are experiencing this and many of those grads are young adults. And in my platform, the young adults are people that I'm trying to reach. So, you know, to better, to better understand why I felt like this um, is a calling to me, I'm just gonna share with you my thought process this week. Just last week, I made a video announcing that I'll take a break to reorganize my life. And I will take this time to connect with myself, to repurpose, to, to refocus, and to reorganize my life, my intentions, and my goals. I started waking up at 5 a.m. again and rebuilding my morning routine. I focus on my meditation practice and I came up with a new mantra that says, to fulfill my dream to make a difference in the lives of millions of people, I first have to discipline myself. So I rewrote my mission statement, and I also reminded myself of my vision and values. I also started writing a weekly to-do list instead of a daily one. I listed what my real priorities in life are and scheduled to make those priorities happen throughout the week. But before this week happened, since I started producing personal development videos, I've learned a lot. I learned to value rest. I can be motivated, but I just want to be motivated to accept that it's okay to not be productive. I learned how to figure out what my purpose is. We are about to define the three most important statements of your young adult. I learned the habits to make me the best performer I can be every day, and I learned how to effectively discipline myself. And then come this week, when I was featured in an article representing many grads, many young adults, I feel like this is God's way of verifying to me that I figured out my purpose, at least for now, and He wants to tell me to continue this purpose. You know, He's giving me this opportunity, this momentum right now to create change, to impact people because of the credibility that I've earned. And yeah, again, last week, uh, he, he basically told me that I have to take a break, that I have to reorganize and reevaluate myself. So that's what I did. And then at the end of that week, the article was released. It felt unbelievable. It felt unreal. But that was amazing. Plus, the article was released right when I finished editing the, po the poster for my upcoming podcast, which it's called the After School Hours Podcast. Check out my intro on my Instagram. I'd really appreciate it if you can give me your feedback about it if you are a podcast listener. And if you're not, hey, what would you enjoy in the podcast? Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, I don't think this is a coincidence. I think that it's a plan. And I know that it's crazy to believe that it's a plan. But hey, for things to connect pretty darn well, it's gotta mean something. 
and I mean something. <laughs> so now, really for me, I don't think there's turning back now. I'm gonna keep creating for sure, and I hope you just start doing as well. Just start. You, I am to say, you are gonna be so surprised where that will lead you. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching and please do consider subscribing. And as always, do not lose the momentum you're gaining right now. The Lord gives you momentum, you take it and you make use of it. Anyway, goodbye, bye. Goodbye.